Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, good morning. Morning, sir. Pagi this morning. Good morning, sir. So, uh, so this is maybe the the last meeting before the midterm test, yeah. So I heard, I hear that next week you will have examination. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So TPN is uh, is is sick, so she goes to the doctor. She, she goes to the doctor to yeah to consult uh, her eyes with the doctor. Okay, so we have only four students, yeah, and Adela is not present today, maybe. I don't know. Okay, before we so today is uh, is about uh, managing people, yeah, managing code, yeah. What is what's the topic now? What is the topic? Developing coaches for managing people, sir. Yeah. Okay, developing coach, yeah. Developing coach for managing people. So, so the coach must be developed, yeah. So must be developed how to manage the people, yeah. Okay, so today discussion will be led by Tasha, yeah. And before we start our discussion, so let you give the opening comment as usual. And what you know something about the topic. Okay, from Willa, please. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Sir Adin, everyone. Today we will discuss about developing coaches for managing people, which will be led by Tasha. So uh, it will be no surprise that several of the people born with the talent to be a coach, but even though they already got the talent, it will be useless if they don't initiate to improve and learn it deeply. So in developing ourselves as a coach, actually, we need to always learn new things, must be able to try many things and also look around so that we can reflect on what abilities that we need to improve and hone. So I hope that by discussing this topic, we can know the ways on how to develop coach for managing people for ourselves and for our future employees. That's all from me, sir. Thank you. Okay, please from uh, Irpani, please. Okay, uh, good morning, sir. And so good morning, everyone. So uh, today we will discuss about the coaching development for managing people. And today, a uh, presentation from uh, Tasha Alfia. And I hope that uh, she will uh, deliver the presentation well. And I hope that we will get and understand more about the, uh, what is the importance of coaching. Thank you, sir. Okay, and then Elisa, please. Yes, sir. Uh, what I know about Diploma Coach is focus on increasing your self awareness and looking at life goals, personal challenges, and development coaching to effort this life change will assign your strength and weakness to improve your current area of your life. Thank you, sir. Okay, please. Uh, Asa, Tasha, Okay, good morning, sir, and good morning, all of my friends. So today we will discussion about topic six about developing coaches for coach for managing people by me. I hope this is goes well well well. So uh, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Please. Uh, so the time to lead the discussion is uh, is given to Tasha. Please uh, lead the discussion. Please take your time. Thank you, sir. Okay, good morning, all of my friends. So today we will discussion about developing coaches to managing people. This topic uh, very important uh, and with before chapter. So we will start our discussion for from number one. So what do you know about developing coaches for managing people? Is this important? So the first is Willa. How about Willa? Uh, so in my opinion, developing coaches to manage people is a process in which coaches develop themselves by honing their skill and knowledge in order for them to learn and choose the most appropriate style of management for the employee situation and condition of the company. I think that it is very important for a coach developing their skill for managing their people because they can improve and get to know the best and the right way and decision for them to motivate and lead their people. And also by increasing the skill in coaching someone, it will make the employee's effectiveness increase and improve organizational performance. That's all from me, Tasha. Thank you. 
Good answer, Willa. How about Elisa? Mm, I think it's they are trained to develop and super challenge coach to go on improve their knowledge and skill to provide positive effect and spur experience for all participants. And coach need to be able to show empathy and be good building relationship, including building report good. Coach also have strong communication skill for about developing communication skill in general. Thank you. Thank you, Elisa. How about Irvani? Hello, Irvani. Okay, I think Irvani have to bed oh, sign Oh. Yes, Irvani, how about you? I think Irvani have a bad connection. So yes, all the answer is good. Developing coaches, coach for managing people, focus to how coach success to people, success to managing people, not just people to develop, but coach important to develop skill, knowledge, and then be involved in getting the right people on team. And then to operate, as coach on day to day requires uh, both competence and confidence and when the obvious coach not working the necessary discipline action okay we will move to number two in your opinion what is sign of learning for workplace coach needed the first is elisa what your opinion elisa i think it's uh, to build and report good coach and it's important because helping a client reach their peak potential it's enough Elisa thank you how about Mila uh, I think there are several things that are needed by coaches in the workplace like a clear specification of the performance required on the job like day to day a clear identification of what needs to be learned to match the performance required, and also a clear plan of how learning will be acquired and applied, and a clear plan of the resources and support necessary, and how this will be managed to answer the sustainable and confident performance over time. That's my answer, Tasha. Thank you. Thank you, Willa. Uh, what your opinion, Irpani? Uh, it is uh, the second question because uh, my signal is unstable lately. It is the first or second question? Uh, the second question. Okay, uh, for the second question that I would like to answer, uh, the design of learning work for workplace coaches requires first is a clear specification of the performance required on the job day to day. Second is a clear uh, identification of what needs to be learned to match the performance required. Third is an assessment strategy to assess the performance required. And four is a clear plan of how learning will be acquired and applied. And the last is uh, a clear plan to the resource and support necessary and how this will be managed to ensure the sustainable and confident performance over time. I think it is. Thank you. Okay, the Tripani uh, is good answer. So uh, what is of learning for what this coach needed is first, a clearer specification of the performance required on the job day to day. And then the second, a clear identification of what needs to be learned to match the performance required. And then the three, an assessment strategy to assess the performance required. And then four, a clear plan how, how learning will be acquired and applied. And the last, a clear plan of the research and support necessary and how this will be managed to ensure sustainable and confident performance over time. We need a workplace coach who have the competence with the, su the support and the process. Okay, we will move to uh, number three. Mention five steps to managing sustainable lasting learning. The first is Irpani. Can you mention five steps? Okay, uh, there is five steps that as I know, the first is making learning right. Uh, it's, it seems like the structure. 
and next is making learning work it seems with the engagements and then the third is uh, making learning connect it is uh, equal to the game plan and for is making learning stick it is the consolidation and the last is checking learning success it is the evaluation i think it is the five step yes, thank you good answer how about Willa? Uh, I think my answer is same with Irfani, but I would like to give some of the explanation. So first one is making learning right. Uh, so if we want to capable and confident workplace coaches, the organization through its senior management, it must be completely clear about what they expect them to do and the level of commitment and support what will be provided. Step two, making learning work. So the coach initiates the interactive learning process in this step. So where competence, behavior, and confidence or capability are acquired. And it is the point at which the proposed design learning activities enables the coach to observe and experience the underperformance, inappropriate behavior, and a lack of confidence. The third one is making learning connect. So this is where the learning's quality and integrity are put to the test. Step four, making learning stick. So it is more focused on the consolidation. This is where the main game takes place. So all of the knowledge, practice, and planning go into the delivery of a formal feedback session to an employee. And for the last step, step five, it is checking learning success. So this step is all about evaluation and getting feedback on how well the organization investment is working. That's all from me. Thank you. We love Okay, I think Elisa had a bad connection. So, right, the answer uh, from Willa and Irpani. So, the first step is making learning right uh, to the structure. So, if you if we want capable and confident workplace, a coach, the organization, truth in the senior managers, must be totally clear about what they want them to do and the level of commitment. And then the step two, making learning work to the engagement. This step is where the coach begins the interactive learning process. And then next is making learning comic is the game plan. This is where the quality and integrity of learning are put to the test. Uh, step four is making learning stick the consolidation. So this step is where the main game occurs. All the learning practice and preparation are applied uh, to the conduct of a formal feedback session. And then the last step is checking learning success, like the evaluation. This step is about getting feedback on the extent to which the organization investment having the desired impact. So this is to answer number three. We will move to number four. What is different learning design and training design? Uh, the first is Mila. Can you explain about what the what is different learning design and training design, Mila? In my opinion, learning design is the process of developing specifications for the development, implementation, assessment, and management of situations in a company that provide the learning service facilities on a macro and micro scale for like the various aspects of varying complexity of the company. While for the training design, it is more about the process that allow the company to assess its need and present solution in the form of like the clearly defined goals. So we can learn what current employees already know and how they can improve by conducting the training design activities with them. That's all from me, Tasha. Thank you. Thank you, Vila. Good answer. How about Elisa? Hello, Elisa. Uh, I think learning design is the fine word. To support learning experience, it refers to deliberate choice about what, when, and where, and how to teach. And training is about developing a specific skill with the purpose of improvement. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, okay. In my opinion, the um, learning design is the framework that supports a learning experience and it refers to deliberate the choice of what, what, when, and where, and how to teach. And uh, when we talk about training design, is developing new training and educational courses and lessons for your ex existing employees. And it puts out the gaps in the training and builds in the uh, them in with a new material for a better performance. It also allows your team to grow their skills and rather than becoming a static interface. And in conclusion that I think there is no significant difference between training and also the designing, uh, training and also learning experience design. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rufani. All of the people is the answer. <coughs> so the different learning design and training lesson is Learning design is focused with the framework to support learning experience. And then training design is developing new training and educational course and lesson for your existing employees. But this is very related and important to managing people. Okay, we will move to uh, about video. The first video, uh, um, Elisa. Can you what I think about first video? Yes. It's about training design process, is present solution, and create definition goals when training current employee to learn new tastes and incorporating learning principle and identify effective training methods. First, you have to understand what they already know and how they could improve. Thank you. Thank you, Elisa. Mila, how about you with this video? Video first. Uh, so this video is about training design process. So it is very important to take a broad perspective when designing training, regardless of whether it is an online or face-to-face -face training program, class, or course. So employees need to be motivated to attend the training event, use what they have learned on their job, share their knowledge and skill with others, and continue to shape and modify the knowledge and skills required to meet changing business and job demand. It means that program design should include not only what goes on during training based on course and lesson plans, but also creating condition before the training event to ensure the employees are willing, ready, and motivated to learn. It also explains about the program design process that relate to the training program issue. So there are three phases, pre-training, learning, and post-training. That's my answer, Tasha. Good answer, Willa. Irpani? Okay. Uh, okay, for me that as I know that when, when I watch the video that this video is about training design process uh, and an effective training process also need a high quality program designed to maximize the training, learning and also transfer of And there is a three process that we will do. The first is phase of uh, pre-training and then second is learning and the third is post-training. I think it is uh, what I've got from the video. Okay, the all of answer is good. So this video about training design process, program design refers to the organization and coordination of the training program to training design process. It is important to take a, a, a perspective when design training program and motivate to learn. And then this video explain have three process. So the first is phase one, pre-training, and then the second is phase two, learning, and then the third, phase three, post-training. We will move to video two, the last video. Uh, Elisa, how about uh, video two? Uh, what I got from video two is about six principal running design is feedback, feature oriented, authentic, and judgment, holistic, and alignment is why we need all these because principles are important for the governing of action and the operation of technique in any file of education. Uh, and explain education process, they show how things are done, how education results are achieved. Thank you, Elisa. Uh, well, and then we will move. Uh, what uh, you got, Mila, in this video? 
So this video is about the six principles of learning design. First principle is authenticity. It is a key when apply when we apply what we learn theory integrated with practice, but only when we experience them together in real world settings. Second principle is holistic. So it is a it is said that learning is never ending process of participation and discussion. The third principle is feedback. So we get better by acting on feedback collected from different sources. The fourth principle is about learning to make judgment of our own and others' performance based on the benchmark. So when every aspect of learning support each other, the fifth principle, which is alignment, will be achieved and acquisition becomes participation. So learning extend beyond the here and now will prepare us to deal with the unknown and unfamiliar. And by opening our eyes to the new perspective, we'll develop our critical thinking and deep understanding skill, which will molding the last principle, which is future-oriented mindset to face the new challenges. And with this approach, the way learning is designed and experience is transformed when knowing and doing become one. That's my answer, Tasha. Okay, very good. Your answer, Willa. And what do you think, Irvani, from this video, the last video? Okay, uh, in this last video that uh, we have watched, uh, uh, this uh, about the six principles of learning inside that I should know that. As a learning design, there is a six principle that we can allow that the first is authenticity, and then there's alignment, and you know, uh, the third is holistic, the fourth is future oriented, and the, uh, the fifth is feedback, and also the last is judgment. And it's really important to to assume that this principle very very give us uh, a, a role a big role in terms of learning. I think it is. Uh, Okay, sorry. Uh, thank you for good answer, everyone. So this is video about six principles of learning design. Learning is not destination, but an a cheap, uh, journey to adapt to an ever changed environment. So the first principle is authentic, and then the second holistic understanding and then next feedback and then judgment and then constructive alignment is a child a chip and then the last is future oriented so the why learning is designed and uh, explain to the process trans uh, from trans uh, to get uh, managing people to principle of learning design i think the last video to this uh, the last video to discussion is the last two hour discussion about developing coach for managing people we will learn about training design we will learn about uh, learning design in this uh, in this discussion i hope this is discussion will really useful with our teacher thank you sir adi and thank you everyone to join our discussion Thank you. Welcome. So it's good. Yeah. So uh, it isn't that everyone must learn. Yeah. Must learn and everyone can be trained. And yeah. So like the manager. So if you are the manager, so the company can develop the manager to the learning and training. So, right? so the management must be able to design the learning for the managers and and design the training for the managers yeah? how to how to manage how to put the people how to make the people yeah so there's must be the school uh, the special school for uh, managers yeah, yeah. how uh, to train manager how to, uh, how to be a good manager how to be how to be a good manager as a coach like that yeah and there's also a workshop yeah seminar right? and then short course for manager yeah so to be honest, it's not easy. Yeah. So when you are the manager, maybe the, the company management, yeah, will uh must send you to space uh, to to the to special school of tra training or yeah learning yeah, how to be the manager, so right? Yeah, because you must study a lot of knowledge. Yeah, how to communicate, 
how to build this receive and then you will be taught how to how to motivate yeah how to inspire your people and then you must also you, you will be given the knowledge of psychology yeah because when you deal with people you must know the psychology psychology right? yeah social psychology right? the employee psychology right? and you must know what your people needs and wants right? if you want to to coach them yeah Okay, so before we end this uh, program, so as usual, so next week you will have a examination, yeah? You will have a examination. So as usual, so the 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 form of the examination is uh, is video recorded, right? So yeah, I will be, I will post some question maybe on Sunday, and you must answer in video recording, yeah, as usual, yeah. So and then Elisa will read the discussion after the midterm test. So when when will the when will we start again? I will like check after the midterm test. When? When? On what on what dates after the midterm test will the lecture start again? So you will have the simulation during the past month, yeah, yeah. So maybe next next week. So the Muslim people have have passed it, correct? So, so when we when we start when we when will we start again after the midterm test? How how long will the midterm test start? Uh, start how long? Two week or one week or three week? The no, the first April, sir. Yeah, the first until until first, until first April from twenty eighth March to first April. So our next. Uh, lecture will in will on 7 april oh second april yeah so on second april so yeah i don't know what on what uh on what dates does on uh, what day that is second april you see it is Thursday or maybe monday yeah monday maybe, yeah monday is seven yeah is that true thursday huh thursday what? seven april oh thursday yeah okay thursday so yes. at least it is uh, the discussion will be led by Elisa, yeah, Elisa, on the seventh of April, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so I think you, you you will you will know you have known the the topic, yeah, on chapter seven. Okay, before we end this uh, this discussion, please let you give the closing comment. What you, what you have got from this discussion? Okay, from Willa, please. Uh, so first of all, I would like to say thank you to Tasha that already led the discussion and for Sir Adi who explained today's topic. So there are a lot of insight that I got today. I hope that today's discussion can open our eyes to find out how to develop ourselves to be a good coaches and have a strong determination to learn new things because by developing our skill, it can expand our professional competency and allow us to perform and have a good progress in our job. Thank you, everyone. If I need, please. Okay, uh, I would like, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much uh, for Tasha for leading the discussion. So, sir, uh, and it's such a great discussion to discuss about, uh, about the coaching and effect to the managing people. And it's really important for us that we are to manage our manager in the future because later as a coach or as a team leader that we should be managing our people and it's really uh, such a good idea and thank you so much uh, for all of the all of our friends who are being uh, uh, involved in the discussion thank you okay Tasha please okay sir so, uh, so the first is I want to say thank you for everyone to participation your answer to our discussion I hope um, this is useful with our future and our knowledge or skills. Thank you, Sir Adi. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I think at this time for me to say goodbye. So uh, I, hope, I hope that you can answer the question in the midterm test of the form management well, yeah. So I I will post the question on Sunday, yeah. Yeah. So before the schedule, so you can submit the your answer before the schedule or on on the schedule yeah so you can so when when the day when the day of test, test comes so you, you only feel the attendance of joining the performance test yeah
Oke, okay, I think uh, have a good day, a nice day. Keep your health. See you later after the midterm test. Oke, okay, see you later. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. You can leave your room, please.